Mm-hmm. You know, there's what's known as a top. It's the name of a, for a child's toy. Yeah. Most tops have cylinder curve or pear shapes. Yes. Uh huh. They are usually made of wood, metal, or plastic, and often spin on a metal tip. Yeah. Now somebody somebody started things spinning a long time ago. Yes. Without the power of attorney. Yes. My wife actually didn't have jurisdiction to motion the court for a protection order. I was a resident of Guam, so was she. Yes. And if she wanted to have a civil matter where I was going to be named in a protection order, yes, it was an obligation to do it on Guam. Mm -hmm. Now, when you issued the protection order, you didn't obligate her as a durable power of attorney to serve me before you issued it. Mm -hmm. And a condition of that protection order was that I had to have a mental health evaluation without a durable power of attorney. Mm -hmm. Now, the arrest didn't take place in this state. And you cannot make somebody spin Mm -hmm. just because you decide you're going to. Mm -hmm. Now, for every individual that's ever had to have any sort of evaluation Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from any government agency or department, they have to have durable power of attorney to obligate them to do that. Well, you can't just make them have a mental health evaluation right now. Now, as the petitioner yes. in the civil matter, mm-hmm. let's say I got arrested uh-huh, in Washington State. Not these false arrests that we've, well, we haven't talked about them, especially when it involves the power of attorney of the state to be able to try somebody for the false accusation of a crime. That would be the state of Washington and every state getting sued for the, or really the use of the power of attorney of every state of the United States. <laughs> That would be each and every state getting an extra $10 billion lawsuit (laughs) because the Full Faith and Credit Act of their judicial problem. Well, see, any state that has knowledge, yes, that uh, any other state obligates any sort of mental health evaluation, yes, without the power of attorney, yes, because the petitioner didn't have the power of attorney, yes, I'm suing every state (laughs) of the United States. Now, when it comes to the actual amounts of money, yes, I would say that every state of the United States state says that you cannot obligate any citizen of this great nation to have to have a 